Hey everybody, Eric Nathy with MountainModernLife.com. Hope you guys are doing great today. Um, I know over the last couple of weeks, uh, through our walkthroughs, we've shown you a little bit of the progress we've made in the bathroom, including our countertop. Um, and today, we just wanted to touch base with you and let you know a little bit of the finer details that we're working on to make it look the way that we want. Uh, before we dive into all that, though, I do want to ask you to please excuse the garage behind me. Uh, we are in the middle of the renovation, and uh, things have gotten a little out of hand uh, in a couple areas back here. Um, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. Um, as you can see here, I have uh, our piece of wood here with a live edge and our piece of wood here with a live edge. Uh, these are going to rest on top of the countertop um, and uh, really bring in a little bit more of that rustic vibe. Um, but one of the concerns we had was that uh, when we first cut these off of uh, the wood that we used for the countertop, they still had uh, the actual bark on it. And we noticed that it was already chipping a little bit. Um, and the more we looked into it, uh, we found that even if you do go ahead and seal these, you're still going to run into some chipping problems. So we decided to look for different avenues to go ahead and get that bark off of there, but still keep the rustic look that we were going for. Um, so we did what anyone would do and we hit YouTube and Katie found an awesome video that kind of explains how you can use uh, different coarse or different wire brush adapters uh, with your drill to go ahead and uh, grind that uh, old bark off and uh, still give it that uh, awesome live wood look. Um, so if you look here at my drill, I actually have one of the coarse wire brushes on here now. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and run over uh, the live edges a couple times with that. And then I'll take my fine wire brush uh, and go ahead and run over it a little bit more uh, there. Now, one thing to note real quick um, before we get into that is that uh, it's very important to wear your safety goggles. Um, most all the videos we watch that uh, use these adapters said that it's extremely important because not only will the wood chips be flying off as you're going uh, grinding it, but also once in a while these uh, wires will fly off as well. Um, so it's best to have some protection in case that comes flying towards your eye. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and run over these a couple times with the coarse brush, then hit it with the fine brush. And then once we get that done, uh, I'm actually going to grab our steamer and we're going to go over our countertop and these back two pieces. Um, just a way to kind of clean it up and make sure that it's ready to go before we seal it and put it in the RV. All right, so we just got done giving our first round with the coarse wire brush. Um, it did take away a lot of the excess that we had on there, uh, and it also left those really awesome grooves um, that we wanna stay on there and create. Um, however, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take the fine wire brush, go over it with that, see if I can clean up some of these uh, little pieces that are still here, um, and then we should be good to go with this. Um, one thing to note, uh, as you guys are watching this, this is my first time attempting this. Um, I'm really excited with the way our first back piece turned out, um, but uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to uh, ask, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them or point you in the right direction for uh, another video or maybe an article that'll give you a little bit more information. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get in there with the fine wire brush. All right, so here we are. We have both of them grinded all the way down. I did give them a very light sanding on the top of both sides. So now I've grabbed uh, my steamer um, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, steam both the back pieces and the countertop real quick.
All right, so here we are. Uh, we went ahead and we got both the back pieces done, all the bark uh, tore off. Um, and then we went that went ahead and give it a little bit of a sanding afterwards. Uh, and then at that point, we took our steamer, uh, went over the back pieces as well as the countertop. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and give the countertop one more little sanding. And then we're going to put our sealer on both that and the back pieces. And then we'll be able to get it installed into the RV, um, which we'll show you guys in a video uh, coming up here pretty soon. Um, so make sure to check back for that. Uh, but if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below or visit mountainmodernlife.com. Thank you much for swinging by and we'll see you again soon.